here, if you can see that I've got uh, a bunch of tilapia. I've uh, got, I think, I believe I have one or two males in there and a few females. This is what I hope to be my uh, breeding tank. Uh, my my 55 uh, gallon tank is here. And if you notice in the background, up on the wall is the ever growing Placostomus. Placostomus uh, do nothing but uh, around and eat all the bacteria that is on the wall. They're also known as algae eaters. Their mouth is uh, kind of funny looking as you look at them, but uh, those are quite an interesting fish. I really like them because it sure makes my uh, tank maintenance very easy. Up above, I've been uh, attempting to grow some uh, lettuce. The lettuce uh, hasn't First of all, it didn't come out the way I wanted it to. So I've tried a couple of things and it really has changed the, the, the texture of this a lot. I've been adding uh, uh, sea kelp uh, to this mixture and also the very base, I've been uh, at where the water is uh, coming in, I've added uh, some comfrey. So that seems to be uh, giving this uh, quite a boost. Um, this system has been a challenge for me uh, in order to, to learn how to, to get uh, plants to grow inside. Everything just hasn't been uh, working as well as I think it should. But uh, I think if I keep doing this basis of uh, sea kelp to this, I think uh, these plants are beginning to shape up. They're getting a lot more stronger on the base. They were very wilty at the very beginning. But uh, they're now uh, starting to really shape up um, and, and come together. Well, let me go ahead and we'll, we'll walk outside and uh, we'll take a look around my other projects. Let me get my shoes on. Be right with me. Okay, as I'm getting ready to go out, um, I've been working on a project that uh, I had for my last video uh, called uh, Deep Water. And we'll take a look, see what we got going here. Okay. Well, down below, is the main fish tank that I've uh, shown in, in uh, videos before. Uh, within the fish tank, I uh, have uh, quite a bit of vegetation, and I have a pump that uh, is coming up through this black poly and is uh, feeding into this uh, swirl filter. Uh, the swirl filter is filtering out uh, much of the solids and then as it comes down I'm having it feed into here and uh, I'm just using a, a T on this and it's creating a, a, quite a disturbance in the water there. Um, when I first brought uh, most of the plants back in here uh, from out of uh, my main aquaponics setup, um, most of them uh, wilted quite a bit. But uh, over time, uh, I found out some problems. Is I didn't have this uh, solids filter at the beginning, and all my plants were sitting at the bottom, and they were accumulating a lot of solids on them. So of since I've uh, gone, sorry about that, um, I've gone to these uh, milk crates here, 
and uh, what I'm finding by using uh, milk crates is that I'm getting excellent uh, root growth on these. Uh, this here is some taro. As you can see, the roots are, are doing very well. And so they are on, on this uh, banana plant. So I'm going to set this back in. Can. Set this back down. Kind of a little difficult with one arm. Okay, there we go. So, um, just uh, allowing uh, all that to, to aerate all this water, which then flows down uh, through that pipe back into the fish tank. So, this has uh, been uh, uh, working for me. I like this better than the, the rock media beds in terms of I can clean this out very easily. Uh, dumping all this water out is very thing. I can, uh, for this, I've been uh, putting in a, a sump pump and simply putting all the solids uh, to my plants that are around here, and they really appreciate it. Uh, in addition, I've added uh, uh, myself a large tank to capture water. Um, this is a 1,600-gallon uh, tank, but the hole is about 1,300-gallon, uh, and uh, it captures about uh, two to 300 gallons each good rain I get here. So that is very helpful because I don't have to deal with the, the barrels anymore, and I just uh, ship all my water to there, and uh, I can now... Uh, fill, have reserve water for my aquaponics set up. So, i um, very happy with this setup. I think over time I'll probably expand uh, this system. I do want to increase uh, the amount of uh, turbulence there I have with the water. Um, and I do like how this is uh, capturing uh, the solids uh, from out of the system. So let's take a, a walk down and we'll, we'll take a look at uh, my, my other regular grow bed. Yeah, my, uh, as we're heading down, um, my bamboo uh, tree is just going uh, uh, spastic going big. My other bamboo is, is starting to come back. But you can see, uh, let's just take a pan shot around. Um, this uh, banana tree here has uh, just gone a little uh, nuts on me. I have two banana trees in there and um, that is the best I think I've had the banana trees uh, grow uh, since I've uh, been here. Um, it's been uh, uh, great to see uh, that much growth. I'm just hoping that my bottom container down there uh, uh, can do as well. Something I'm considering doing is uh, removing all the gravel out of the bed and doing much uh, like I have up there and um, seeing if I can um, duplicate uh, this system down into these media beds. Although, I must say, uh, my lemongrass has uh, uh, done most excellently. Lemongrass is something that uh, I really, really like, uh, supposedly. Uh, from what I've been reading, there's a tremendous amount of health benefits to this. As well, uh, it can be used as an insecticide. Um, bugs uh, have not been eating this, so 
I'm thinking if I can get something to grow this prolifically and it's something that makes a wonderful tea, this just tastes exactly like lemons uh, to me. I mean, like a lemon picked off of the tree. If you uh, blend this up, it is just traced uh, Jim Dandy. So, so that's uh, 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 my lemon tree. Okay. I've uh, been trying um, different uh, short uh, moringa trees to get them uh, uh, started, and it had not had success uh, with these uh, very much. This has showed some shoots, but I don't think this is going to be able to make it. What I heard from one of my neighbors, who actually are one of the acquaintances I've made, is that is, is if you take a smaller shoot, something of this caliber, um, it has a better chance of starting. So I've taken uh, about three of those cuttings uh, for my Moringa tree and seeing uh, if I can get some starts uh, from that. Um, we'll give that a, a whirl and see how that goes. Here is a, a three foot long bean, uh, as they're called, uh, growing up here. I'm going to see uh, how that uh, will come out. Over here, I also have some more lemongrass, and this is uh, called uh, apple mint here. Um, apple mint will probably take over the bed, but I don't care that much. I really enjoy making uh, teas with uh, this uh, combined with my stevia plants. These are my stevia that I've had through the summer, and I've been taking cuttings, I mean, from uh, one of the plants, and I'm still rooting these. I've found, let's just go over here and take a look, that I'm having a good success uh, with these, uh, in these bags still. So I highly recommend this uh, method as I can see in one of my previous videos on how to propagate uh, these. So once you get these guys uh, into these bags going, uh, uh, it, it's, it works pretty decently. I've, I've checked these and I've got roots starting on these. So I've started about 20 or 30 plants. Another plant that I am working on is uh, this is called horsetail down here. Um, I'm seeing uh, new shoots uh, start.